Hello everyone, hope you're doing well today. I want to show you one of the methods you can use to read NTFS drives on Mac, any version of Mac. I actually face this problem that every time I want to read my hard drive, my NTFS drive, it's very hard for me to do it and every uh, option which is available online is a paid one. And it actually is a very free tool that you can use. So, I got to know this tool when I bought a Seagate drive. I've actually connected a hard drive to my laptop. When I open it, it's formatted in NTFS. I can't add files to it. Let me try and do something. I'm just going to get this exam out and try to copy it back in. See, it, I can't be able to copy it in. Why? Because it's uh, read-only. If I check in this utility, I will actually see that uh, my hard drive is seen, but its format is NTFS. So, by default, uh, Mac does not write to NTFS drives, but let me just dive in quickly and show you what to do. So, the first step that you're going to do, you're going to open your web browser, and when you open your web browser, uh, you're going to search for Seagate. Now, when you open this, it should take you to this screen now. This tool I'm going to show you doesn't work for only Seagate drives. It works for any drive as long as it's NTFS. So, you go to support, and then you go to software downloads and uh, if you look down here it has already selected for Mac because I'm on a Mac so I need to get this Paragon driver so um, let, let's find out my version of, uh, of operating system right now it is Monterey version 12.6.2 so let's let's see what we're going to do here so the version we're going to get is this one which is download for Big Sur or later if you have uh, any other versions like let's say Catalina maybe uh, to uh, okay, let's say from El Capitan, which is 1010 to Catalina, you can get this, and all the other older versions you can you can get this tool. So let me download this, and just see how easily this is done. So it has been downloaded, and uh, let me open it up. So just double click. Um, just to ensure that I don't lose uh, any data on this drive, it's not necessary. I've installed it before with the drive connected, but just to make sure that I don't lose data, to be careful, I'm going to eject it. So I've ejected it, I'm going to disconnect it completely. So I'm going to open this now. And after opening, I will have to accept the software license agreement. I don't know why us IT guys will always don't read that. But I will just click accept and uh, sometimes that might be dangerous. Assuming this, the, it, maybe it's something like, do you accept to give out your lungs to be able to use the software and then just click accept and then click next. I don't know why, but I've always found it too much reading all that software license agreement. But you can read through it. It's good manners to be knowing what is there. So um, here you see that uh, an extension has been uh, updated. So you're going to click on security preferences. Then here you have to unlock this. Then allow. It's going to ask me to restart my computer, which is okay. Now I can see this. So I can allow this. So let me connect back my hard drive and let's see if it will work. So when I connect my hard drive, okay, my hard drive has shown up. When I double click on it, you can see immediately the sidebar shows up and I can see that I, I can actually be able to write data in here. So let me try to copy this in here. Let me just rename it. So if I drag this in, watch what happens. It has activated to be dragged in using a free tool i don't need to pay for it and right here it has worked for me so hopefully that will help somebody and thank you so much for looking at this video um this is a new channel i'm just uh trying to grow my audience and i would be so happy if you do not forget to subscribe and maybe like this video if you have any questions leave them in the comments and see you again in the next tutorial have a great time everyone